is Noga Holk. I'm Vice President of Business Development with Concord Battery Corporation. Joining to me today is Chris Holder, Eastern U.S. Sales Manager. Today we're discussing how to maximize the life of your lead acid battery and specifically maintaining a full charge. Chris, why is maintaining a full charge so important in lead acid, sealed lead acid batteries? So not to oversimplify it, but maintaining a full charge in a lead acid battery is the fundamental key to keeping batteries lasting as long as you want them to. Anytime you let a battery uh, discharge, you're gonna get sulfate on the plates, and if you let that go long enough, that is going to shorten the life of your battery. What are the top three contributors to sulfate accumulating on a battery's plate? So number one is short flights. Any flight under an hour, uh, you're typically not gonna get a full charge back into the battery. Secondly would be parasitic loads, which is more common than most people think. Thirdly would be long-term storage. You wanna make sure that the battery is boost charged before you store it. If the battery is sulfated, is there anything we can do about that? So typically if a battery falls uh, for a 25 volt or 24 volt battery to 25.5 or 1275 for a 12 volt battery, it needs to be boost charged. Now in mission conditions, uh, you typically want to make sure you're flying for at least an hour uh, or you can rotate your batteries in a fleet situation in and out of the aircraft, address the issues with the older battery and have it on standby to go back into the aircraft in 90 to 120 days. In single ship operations where you have two batteries that have the same part number, you can actually rotate those batteries because one is typically the main start battery and the other is the auxiliary, which typically doesn't get much use. Oh, fantastic information. Is there anything else that we need to consider in charging a battery? Well, you need to make sure that the equipment is properly adjusted, uh, whether it's a maintainer or a bench unit, to make sure that the proper output voltage is going to the batteries. What happens if it's not correct? Well, if it's too low, you're not gonna get the battery fully charged. Sulfation's gonna begin. If it's too high, then you're gonna dry out the mats and the AGM batteries, and that's gonna shorten the life as well. Okay, and where can we find those settings? You can find those in our component maintenance manual or our owner operator manual, which is available on our website. Perfect, thank you so much. If you need any additional information, as Chris said, reference our website, concordbattery.com, and you can find our owner operator manual and component maintenance manual under the Knowledge Center. Thank you so much.